same person as in my other uh, ASMR videos but I dress up as a blonde bitch and um, she's a sorority president and that is like my biggest claim to fame is you know President Britt so of course I posted my first video back I think since President Britt was a thing honestly and I already saw a bunch of comments oh my god I know you bitch oh my god is President Britt is President Britt gonna do ASMR oh sorry I'm not really whispering when's president Britt coming on the channel and so i'm like bitch i knew this was gonna happen so i was already planning on maybe bringing Britt on but here she is this is why we're doing it um so i hope that explanation made any type of bit of sense but we're gonna start with some hair brushing because i got done with uh filming and if you guys don't know that's what i was initially gonna say i film um all of my like like I film in clusters so I'll film like and you probably can tell if you follow me on TikTok I'll have like the same outfit in a bunch of videos in a row but I actually film them like all in the same day usually especially now that I do a lot more makeup I do a lot more just with the outfits with everything compared to a year ago I used to do basically fucking nothing so I could just like pop on some fake eyelashes and film every day uh, but now you know there's just a lot more to the videos that I'm doing I'm doing like longer videos and it's kind of tiring, so I'm kind of fucking tired and I kind of don't want to be here right now. But, uh, I'm giving the girls what they want. Welcome to President Brit ASMR. <laughs> and I will be... Ooh, that's nice. Definitely doing this, uh, again in the future. But like I said, I, I film in clusters and I only ever film probably, like, um, every three or four weeks these days because I, f I don't post super frequently because again um i keep fuck i'm a big fucking talker i never stop talking i'm sorry um i take too long to explain what i'm trying to say but i um i'm filming these more elaborate skits now so yeah i don't know where i was going with that but i don't dress up quite as often as i used to um because i like to kind of just like get it all done i actually have scripts now I don't have any employees. It is just all me. Um, literally, no manager, no writer, no editor, nothing, girl. That's probably why I'm so fucked up in the head. But, um, yeah, I uh, have moved into doing some more complex skits over time. You may not have even noticed. But they're just a lot more elaborate. I have to kind of plan them out. And then I have like a bunch of ideas ready to film all in one day. So all of that being said, um, I don't dress up quite as often. So if you guys really like Brit, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to start just doing drag for my ASMR channel. Which would be less effort. I wouldn't need to like plan out a script. So I'd be down. Just, you know, run it up in the comments and leave a lot of likes, and then I'll be back. Okay? But thank you guys for the support on my, uh, well, I may be posting more before I post this one, but so far I posted one new video, and it's like, oh my god, you guys are just sending so much love, and I didn't expect that. I thought I was going to take me a while to get back into the swing of the ASMR channel and so you guys are motivating me to um fucking get to it and film more content so thank you guys for that all right so there's my long ass five minute intro what do we think of the outfit today by the way this material is um oh that feels good I'm not gonna lie um this material is I don't fucking know what it is I don't even know if that's good <laughs> act like I know but it's a really pretty like shiny metallic hot pink and I live and love it 
This is probably one of my favorite Brit outfits. Oh, I meant to get this makeup off of me, but this is probably one of my favorite Britney outfits that I've ordered. I like to order new outfits nowadays because since I film all at one time, well, not even because of that. I used to film all in the same outfit, but I'm just trying to kick it up a notch, you know? And TikTok just started paying me. Um, uh, contrary to popular belief, I am poor. I don't make millions of dollars off of being fucking President Brit on TikTok, unfortunately, because, you know, China. <laughs> but they, uh, just started paying creators so for views I mean like for just your views um, they were paying you four cents per thousand views and so that would be forty dollars if I get a million views mm -hmm. think about that bitch that's one meal at a grocery store in 2023 that's one pre-made meal at Publix but uh they started paying like YouTube does now. So I've been getting in my bag a little bit. <laughs> and uh, I like to spend it on upping Brit's quality, you know? I meant to put on a new wig today. Because this one is uh, matted and run through and raggedy and disgusting and ratty. But I forgot to prepare the other wig because I have to cut the bangs. Um, we can do a little bit of this. I, I don't have headphones on right now. The next ASMR video I film, I'm going to put headphones on so I can really hear and make sure I'm not making any too loud noises. But over, over, over a wig is a fucking no-no. I, I just can't deal right now. I already want to die and that would just make me want to die a lot more. So let's just go ahead. I don't know if this would be too loud is my point. That's probably not a good sound, but I can't tell. A lot of you guys are like, oh my god, I love that wig. Where did you get that wig? It looks so good. And it's $20 on Amazon. So, bitch, if you want this wig, you need to step up your fucking game. Because it literally is basically a party city wig. So the whole point of this video that I had in mind, which it doesn't fucking matter what I do, I can just do whatever, you guys don't really fucking care, um, it was to do a makeup bag, a what's in my makeup bag ASMR. And so I'm not really going to go through every item in this makeup bag because I'm not a makeup guru and I don't really know shit about shit, but I feel like the items just might sound good. But before I get into the bag, I do have... Um, this that's not in the bag, which is the Trixie Cosmetics Nighttime Realness, which I used in my um, blue top videos that I just posted, like the last set of videos before the pink top on my TikTok, used this for the eye look, and I ordered it just for that. That's how much of a stupid, um, bad at saving money type of person I am, because that's all I purchased it for. Bitch, I gotta crack my fucking neck, okay? Fuck you. If this makes you cringe, you're a bitch. Oh. Okay. Oh, it still hurts. Fuck. And of course, we get like fake fingernail taps, which is also a plus of doing the Britney. It adds something a little different, so. Hey, I'm all down to like start dressing up for ASMR as long as y'all run up the views. I'll do whatever the fuck it takes. My camera's struggling today. Chill, it's not that 
serious. It was never that serious. It really wasn't ever that serious, girl. You gonna be good, girl. It's gonna be good. Like, whatever. Who fucking cares about him, about her, about that situation? It's not that serious. Like, for real, it's not that serious. Okay, people are starving. I could do like ASMR get ready with me as Brittany like Bridget I could do so much with it so I'm gonna tap on it as I read Look at you. Why are you why do you look like that? Bitch, get your double chin out from under your fucking neck. Stop. Lift your head up. Okay. I don't want to catch you slipping, sis. Um so yeah. Televangelista, televangelista, televangelista. I'm reading the makeup names, by the way, bitch. We have and dusted. This acne is just not good. Night shift, night shift, night shift, and signing off, signing off, signing off. And that, oh god, fuck, and that is the nighttime realist palette signing off. I forgot that I'm gonna have to stop cursing. Once I monetize this channel, so shh. <sighs> you just relax. There's nothing for you to do right now. And there's nothing for you to think about either. It's really not that deep, girl. Just relax. You're taking time for yourself right now, as you fucking should be. Okay? Fuck those other bitches. Fuck their agendas. You do you, girl. And just relax. Just relax. Just relax. Don't worry about it. You know what? You're still here right now. All that other shit you thought was going to go wrong. Some of it did, some of it didn't, but you're still here and you're fine. So what makes you think anything's going to change now? You're fine, girl.
so um, as I tap on this, some of you guys, especially some of you boys, um, or, you know, whatever, whatever you are, might be like, why do you dress up, why do you dress up as a girl, why do you put on makeup, uh, you know, I saw you in this other video, and you look so great as a guy, and why are you doing this? What is what is going on in your head? And my answer, for those of you that are thinking that, at this point, you're a little weird because you've watched me for 17 minutes. But also, um, I don't fucking know. Do you? Because I don't. I don't know why I dressed up as a girl. We can leave it. We can leave it as that. We can leave it unanswered just like all your worries about tomorrow or what you said yesterday i don't fucking know bitch maybe you did say the wrong thing whatever maybe it isn't maybe you're not gonna get that job maybe tomorrow you're gonna fucking fail whatever um why am i dressed up as a girl i don't fucking know whatever that's just going to be our attitude today, babe. Uh, what are my pronouns? I don't fucking know. Whatever you want, girl. You can call me a uh, zebra. I'll take it. So this is getting a different sound because uh, there's a little palette behind it. So it's kind of nice. It's like a double whammy, like a, just on the outside of the bag and then hitting a hard surface underneath. And you know, we love hard surfaces. Ooh. this fit please hype me up in the comments just kidding i don't need your approval because this fucking fit bro oh. like i just feel so so pussy Let's unzip it. We're at 20 minutes. I'm, as you can tell, I'm like patiently waiting for this to be over because I'm fucking hot. I want to leave. I'm not lying. Zipper. 
guys, I'm so, so upset because I cracked this cup the other day for Father's Day. I went golfing, believe it or not. I kind of fucking ate that up too. I was kind of a bad bitch um, at golfing. But look, I dropped a club on it and cracked it. And this is my second one of this specific Starbucks cup that I had broken. The first time it was with a dumbbell at the gym. Boom. Completely smashed the whole thing. Second time it was with a golf club. So like the world just doesn't want me. The universe just doesn't want me to have this specific Starbucks cup from the 2021 winter collection. It's fucked. Oh, I had to go low power. scary like a fucking bug or something or a fucking alien breathing I don't know sound so I'm not gonna go too crazy with this but I have a bag of makeup sponges it looks kind of like a fucking bag of shit that was kind of nice if you do it nice and slow I guess but not my favorite I've had this Too Faced lip injection lip gloss for a long time because uh, like a year ago I was like in a weird era like a little over a year ago like a year ago and then like the spring semester prior to that summer if that makes sense to you um, I was in this era where I was like showing up to class with fake nails on and like lip gloss and like ew like I fucking hate myself um <laughs> for like painting my nails black what the fuck was I doing and this is how I know that our brains do not fully develop until 25 because what the fuck am I just some attention whore weirdo like let me just put on fake nails but like look like a boy and show No shade to anyone that does that, but I hate myself for doing it. I'm not hating on you. I hate myself. Um, and I did that. And so I always get off these tangents. But my point being is that I have had this lip gloss forever because I think I had it way back then. I mean, maybe not this specific one, but I used to buy these lip glosses and just put them on. And bitch, plumping lip gloss would make me look like I just drank a full fucking red Gatorade. And I would show up to class and just lather that shit on like what the 
fuck was wrong with me? I still will put on like a lip oil or something maybe, but like, girl, I was in another fucking era of time for myself. Um, we've grown, we've grown. Okay, now I dress up fully as a fucking girl. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. That's our energy today. I don't fucking know and I don't care. We don't have to explain anything. But let's just put some of this on. Some of y'all like that sound, but that is unpleasant to me. That sounds like something else I don't like. Ew. Okay. Now, I do love the lip gloss. No shade to the lip gloss. I just wouldn't recommend, you know, showing up in Gymshark outfit and then wearing lip gloss. And it makes it look like you've... Oh, fuck me. It makes it look like uh, you just drank a red Gatorade because it plumps your lips up. It's, I don't know what I was doing. I was also fat. Um, it's okay, you know? I love my, at least I love myself in every era because every era I'm in, I like, sorry to keep using the word era for the straight people that may or may not probably have already clicked off, but maybe watching, um, in every phase of my life that I'm in, um, I, some, for some reason I love myself. I'm like, oh my God, I look so good. And I look back and I'm like, ew, bitch, you're fucking ugly. But I guess it's better than having like body dysmorphia. Um. I'm that's my philosophy like if you just gain weight and you're fat and you're in your fat girl era bitch own it love it live for it it doesn't mean that you can't just like want to change still or want to be like okay I'm gonna go to the gym and then I'm gonna enter into a skinny era like you know what I mean I feel like everyone's just too like nitpicky about themselves like in what they're in in the phase that they're in when you should just like always love what you look like now own it live it um work it show it off and then just like you can change like it doesn't mean you don't have to like never want to change to love what you look like now you get what i'm fucking saying i feel like i'm saying the most basic cringe shit ever but that's just how i feel um it's harder for girls though i will say that because there's a lot more pressure to look a certain way whereas for guys like for me what I look like is a guy on the regular if I like I'm fat at one point it's like whatever like no one no one judges fat men you know what I mean I don't mean to get all into this but it's like oh I'm bulking bro I'm bulking just wait for the cut bro it's like no you're fucking fat bitch you drink too many bud lights and you need to go to the gym bud lights oh my god Sorry, it's not 2016. Um, too many Miller lights. I'm fucking know. I'm crazy. Like, what am I talking about? Oh, I want to put some of this on you guys. Pucker up. Pucker up your lips, bitch. Stop. Stop talking. So this video, I'm fully just like talking to you guys like as myself, but I 100% could do like a full on role play because I guess I'm doing Britney, but maybe I should do a role play one time where I really do Britney like it is Britney doing the ASMR, maybe doing your makeup um, at Sorority Rush or something. Oh my God, I'm, I'm a genius. I'm having so many ideas come out of my head. I could fucking be like Britney Sorority Rush interview ASMR. I'm just like. Hey, what's your name, babe? Uh, why did you want to come to 80 Pie today? Oh my god, I'm a fucking genius. Okay, someone needs to hire me. So stay the fuck tuned, but right now we're just, we're just kicking, we're just hanging out. I have a couple palettes, but we're gonna hang it up here soon, because I already gave you guys some tapping on palettes. I have this Born This Way concealer, which I basically use as foundation, which may or may not be recommended. Like I said, I'm not a makeup guru but I like just cover the fuck up and just go from there 
My head is starting to hurt from the wig, y'all. Uh, just been a long day. Snapchat from my sneaky link. I also got these fake nails from Amazon. Um, you can always trust Amazon, bitch. Amazon wig, Amazon, oh my god, Amazon this. This was from Forever 21, I think. Um, Amazon. Amazon's got the fucking hookup. Like, don't shit on your girl Amazon. Bezos know what the fuck is good. Um, I even get the Airspun, the Cody, Cody, whatever. I don't fucking know, Cody. Does that even say that on there? Airspun? Setting powder. Um, from Amazon is what I meant to say. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> I get this from Amazon. For like six dollars. And I know they say you're not supposed to breathe it in, but to just whiff it from time to time. I like to just go in there and just... <sighs> I like to do that. Gives me a good buzz. <laughs> I'm going crazy. You know, I never used to be big into the visuals, but recently I have been into the mic brushing, the visuals, all this stuff just gets me into that good relaxation mode. But I haven't been watching ASMR quite as much. I go through phases. Oh, got a hair in my mouth. There's nothing in here. I'm just wishing that there was. And just pretending to drink out of it. Sorry, that was loud. Okay, well, I don't know what else there is to do. I feel like I took too long, so I definitely didn't go through my makeup bag. I could tap on one of these for you. I could tap on one of these for you. I could tap on one of these for you. I could tap on one of these. I totally don't recommend this palette. 
So let's do it like another day where I like really go through the bag and talk about it. Um, but let's tap on it again because when it has nothing in it, remember it makes a really good sound.
Stuff for anxiety. 